The Crow Wing County Fairgrounds were bustling today while crews worked to get set up for tomorrow, the opening of this year's county fair. We work really hard until the day the fair opens up tomorrow. We'll be, we'll be ready to rock and roll. There is a lot to look forward to this year, from the 4-H building, the livestock, the rides, and of course, the food. The fair is the fair. We have a full schedule of entertainment in the grandstands with uh, the, the bull riding and the monster trucks, that's a big draw, uh, motocross, and then the last two nights, of course, are Baja racing, which is also a big, big deal here. In addition to the old standbys, there are also some new things to look forward to. One is the White Tiger Discovery. It, which is an educational um, and uh, kind of a hands-on type of thing for the white tigers which are on the endangered species list. The other thing is we have knocker balls which is a big blown up ball with a tube in the middle that uh, and we already have one competition it happens to be Steve Coles from the dispatch and Gary Doucette the manager of the fair they're gonna duke it out in the as sumo wrestlers. Something else that is new this year is the welcome sign that was made by Central Lakes College welding students. The partnership provided a perfect opportunity for welding students to get hands-on real-world experience in their field. Designing it and actually seeing it go up, that's pretty cool and seeing your final product. It was enjoyable as an instructor to watch that group of students do that project with me just standing back from a distance and and keeping um, on the right track. No matter what your interest, the Crow Wing County Fair has something for everybody. When you see the kids smiling when they got those ribbons, I mean, it just touches your heart because, I mean, it's just something special to them. Just like to have, tell everybody, come on out to the fair. I don't know if anybody is aware, but we do have restricted parking on 13th Street because of the detour. So um, parking might be a little difficult. Don't give up, find a place and come on in. Admission is free. For this week's Community Spotlight, reporting from Brainerd, Rachel Johnson, Lakeland News.